really that simple right just you just cut up you just record a full video but before you do that hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how the, what what's the easiest and fastest way to create a simple online course right what do you need to do to create a simple online course what's the what's the fastest and the easiest way not not talking about making the best course I'm not talking about the most awesome course I'm talking about the fastest and simplest and obviously the kind of course you were going to create with this process is you know not any course right certain specific types of courses we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so I mean courses there's all kinds of different courses the simplest kind or the basic kind of online courses is just you know you explaining something simple right obviously we're not talking about earth shattering and life altering kinds of courses because those require a little bit more effort than what we're going to get into I'm talking about very simple courses like for example trying to explain a particular topic that um, can be explained really quickly right so we're going to get into that in just a second but I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go and check out the video at cis420.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and um, writing a blog post as well all right so uh, let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen right now and kind of show you let's just get started right so I mean what's the easiest and fastest way to record a simple online course first let's say let's talk about what do I mean by a simple online course so uh, a simple course would be just would be just a few videos right it's be just a few videos um uh, videos are I don't know maybe two to five minutes each right probably five to ten videos right and basically what you do with a simple course like this is each video so let's actually put little bullets here right and each video right so each video is answers answers a single question right and the reason why you want this is because somebody's going to look up whatever it is you're trying to explain to them right and they're going to have specific questions on they can go through your whole thing there's just you know let's say you do you do 10 videos that are two minutes that's only 20 minutes right so they can go through the whole thing right but if they have a specific question that they want answered they you want them to be able to go straight to that one video of that of that topic right so why do you want to why do you even want to have these kinds of courses it depends on what your target market is and what you're trying to accomplish and who you're trying to reach and what you you know all that stuff right for me I'm going to be creating a, a short video that explains how to use my tool right so and so that means that I'm going to put together things like you know what so okay let's say I want to talk about my tool so actually let's go down here so my example course will be at about about how to use my tool right so my active group users tool now I'm gonna say it's not how to use my tool I'm gonna say it's how to use act just whoops where's my just how to use active group users tool right um and maybe it should it should be a little bit more like because you know one of the things that you do when you're creating courses online is you you want to make sure that your copy is seo searchable right search engine optimized you want to make sure that your um your title of your course is kind of like attractive to people but in my case I'm just doing this so that I can send people who already are interested in my tool 
in active group users to actually like to have questions I'm going to say go to this to go here and uh, just you know click on whatever you're looking for answers for and that kind of stuff right so I'm going to have maybe videos and I can put them on YouTube I can do different ways of putting these videos but the thing is that the the like I said the simplest thing is you want to just have a few topics that answer specific questions right okay so my the, the questions the questions I will be answering right are so number one who am I right who who am I now is that going to be the first one I'm not sure right maybe not who am I number two what is this tool used used for right and number three I'm gonna answer maybe so now this is where the specifics of the topic you know in my case active group users tool how do I what are the questions that people would normally ask right what would they normally ask so they would be how to install active group users right uh, number four how to create your account uh, number five how to uh, activate the, the well, activate active group users right group users to extension right number five number six is how to access the active group users extension right the other question might be uh, whoops how to add active group users extension to browser right but which is kind of like how to install it right but still it's a separate question people don't necessarily know that it's the same thing right they they have a specific question so what is their question right so how do I add active group users extension to browser the other one would be how to uh or maybe I would say what what browsers does active group users support right uh, number nine we will say what can we say we can say um how to add groups to monitor well to scrape it's really scraping right to scrape with active group users and let's say number 10 is how to set up schedule um schedule schedule to scrape every day right so and there's a whole bunch of other things and maybe I, I I'm not gonna necessarily get into all the questions or but the thing is that once you've come up with your list of questions you can actually just record your you know your your videos in one stretch you don't have to record a video stop the recording record another video stop the recording record another video stop the recording right it's and I recommend going through these questions as you go and and even if you mess up in the middle of the video or between two videos or maybe you even want to pause that's okay because you can then use a, a video editing tool and cut out just the one piece for the one video and then cut out the other piece for the other video cut out the other piece all in the same video right and I've done that lots of times with lots of different courses if I look at for example on Click eCourse here which is where I host my courses because I created the platform but when I go to this and I look at the list of courses that are here let's say I just look at the free ones which are the ones that I've basically created either uh, let's see one which are the ones that I so this one here for example well creating your first course okay this is actually an example of how to actually create a course in this platform it's obviously free because I want people to know how to use the platform but as you can see right here it's different little pieces right what's this course about corner icons how to use them how to register for your account before you can upload videos uh of course it's not as easy I even have some of them that are drafts here I'm not really sure why but probably because I haven't 
neither of these these have changed uh 30 40 see lesson number 30 40 but anyways those are drafts they're not accessible to people that are going there but there's navigating site the setup account adding a, a file adding a lesson um creating the course right so those are all in here then conclusion so those are all in here and those are all mostly all recorded in one session and then I just cut them up in separate pieces right if I if I go on say I just edit this one here you can see that I have an, a cover image I have the title I have the summary of it I have a details of it then I have the video that's part of it and I'm just going to click on cancel right now because I don't want to touch any of this but if I go to the list of the da, 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 back to list the list of the courses or the you can see right here I have all the you know the lessons in the course and they're here again right course introduction site introduction register creating a course adding lesson all those things are here and um what can I show you here that I didn't well yeah all the summary and details you can edit them all here um you can even add a footer to each of the courses if you want anyways that's that's not important what what I wanted to show you here is that these are just pieces and they're all just like this is 20 seconds two minutes three minutes five minutes three minutes two minutes six minutes seven minutes and 22 seconds right see these are all very short little videos and there's what there's nine of them right and that's the simplest way to create a course is you just record everything and then you just come up with this uh come up with this uh course that basically has all the pieces after you've cut them up and put them all together right that becomes a course like this is an example of creating your free course right your first course and it's really that simple right just you just cut up you just record a full video but before you do that you need to know what your course is going to be about right so you've got to have you got to so I guess uh oh right so I should probably say in here simple course with just a few videos um just decide on the topic obviously you've already decided on the topic you're just thinking how do I put it together in an, in an easy way a fast and simple way that not that's not necessarily going to be the highest quality right um and uh that's yeah so that's the simplest way to create a course is to come up with your topics make sure that they answer each of the each of the lessons should be short and answer the questions and so that's kind of what that's kind of how you do it now it's really that simple there and oh, oh and there should always be um whoops conclusion right a conclusion and an introduction right now I have who am I here let's just say introduction what is active group users and who am I right so I could that could be the introduction right a very quick this is active group users is a chrome extension that'll teach you blah, blah 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 right so I can actually do that I can actually record that and uh, show you kind of what I mean by saying that I just talk about a tool right so um what's tool use so if I take this and I move it aside here so that I can have the notes on the side and if I go to let's say I go to full webcam only and I start recording this particular um you know this particular questions right let's just kind of show you I'm going to go through um I'm going to go through the introduction what's the tool about and how to install active group users and maybe how to create your account how to activate how to access I can probably go through lots of these and just kind of show you how you would just do that for your own topic how simple it is to just record and then we can talk about uh cutting out some of the pieces from uh an editor right a tool that lets you cut out parts of a video you can do even do that in, in, in YouTube if you want it uh, except that I don't think YouTube will uh will actually uh, accomplish uh the editing of multiple pieces out of one video right because if you want multiple pieces um multiple pieces of that uh in the same video I think you might need to upload it more than once and I don't know if YouTube lets it anyways I use a, a tool on my laptop to actually do that 
so we'll kind of get into that maybe uh, but first uh, let's just go ahead and let's get that started so I'm going to first I'm just going to go here to a uh, new tab right I just got a new tab right here I'm on Google I'm actually going to remove the bookmarks where's my bookmarks bookmarks I'm just going to remove them from there so that they're not showing take that out of there all right whoops uh why is it still showing up I'm not supposed to be showing bookmarks show bookmarks bar bookmarks that's weird why is it it's disappearing in the background here but not on this one so let's just close this and let's just open up a new window why are the bookmarks why are the tabs there that's weird okay, let's just uh I don't know take uh, one of these tabs here I have it okay well this one doesn't have so this is active group users by the way just a tool but that's that wasn't the intention of this video right now uh I'm just kind of weird why the tabs were still there but I just want to make sure I have the URL up here because I want to be able to show that oops sorry about that I didn't expect this to be a problem I suppose I could have paused the video right and just came back to it but I think it's always it's good sometimes to actually have the experience of the whole process right and you see the the little gotchas and the kinds of issues because everybody has problems with technology right and this is just one example of something right okay so I'm just going to do open another tab here oh look at that maybe when you open a new tab automatically the the all the shortcuts show up well let's just go to google right gone there you go so the tabs are gone that's weird I didn't know that I didn't know the tabs would automatically show up <laughs> not the tabs but the bookmarks bar would automatically show up so I'm gonna go in here actually I have to because I want to show the tool installing it and everything else I actually have to remove the tool so that I can install it and show you how to activate the your account and everything else right so I'm actually going to go in here first I gotta log out because right now I'm in my account here so I gotta log out because otherwise when I do the recording it's going to show um it's going to show the login right so I'll just go to about right here instead because that's kind of where I'm going to be sending people to and I'm going to go in here and remove the extension and remove it and there we go okay so now we don't have the extension and there we go and this is kind of the, uh, the about page of the extension and let's go to Facebook here Facebook because you know this is an extension for Facebook so I want to kind of go into where where what Facebook how Facebook works right so um all right so if I go to say this group here um, which one let's go to then go funnels Avengers so I'm going to go into a group and I want to kind of show you know what if this what how would how do you know who's active right and how do you know who to contact and all these different things right because that that's basically what the tool is about it's how you do that this is my anyways whatever like I said there's nothing to do with the recording of this particular topic which is creating a simple course so I'm just kind of telling you about the process of figuring out what you do you got to prepare what is it that you're think what is it that you're course is going to be about what's the topic going to be about make sure you prepare your environment like I'm doing right now kind of preparing my environment for my recording and uh, so let, let's do that okay so let's do that so I'm going to go right here no I'm not going to go here what do I what would I better recommend it'd be nice if this 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 uh group had some more colors and pictures and things to it but anyways all right so let's just say is a group by well okay I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna start recording right well I'm, not, I'm already recording but I'm gonna start my you know recording I'm gonna go to just my webcam because I'm gonna be introducing myself or do I do that so I want to introduce the tool 
and me right so that would be my first video would I do that with with my uh with myself or with the video maybe I yeah maybe that's what I do I got to do this I kind of have to do this like this right but I'm going to do it with just the webcam all right so I'm going to do that right now and then after I've, I've done the recording I'm going to be able to come back to this video and cut out the piece that has to do with this introduction right and uh basically I'm going to introduce the tool and myself and that's kind of what this is right now my introduction and this is kind of how you do the recordings if you are um you know just wanting to just do a quick really quick easy simple course you want you don't want to waste well not waste I guess I should say you don't want to take too much time trying to figure out the best way to do it and the best quality and the best this your tools are your tools just use your camera use your webcam you can even use your phone to record it right um because it's a simple thing it's you want to be real you want to be you know anyways okay so I think you get the idea so I'm going to just start recording this right now and we're going to go like this hey John Serge Gagnon here so today I just want to talk to you about my course uh, the tool active group users it's a chrome extension I'm actually going to share my screen right now to kind of show you what it looks like so basically if you go to activegroupusers.com you're going to come to this page you know this might change uh, but it's basically going to tell you a little bit about what the tool is and I'm going to and it and I'm going to tell you right now kind of what it's about um, basically if you're going through Facebook and you're trying to find leads and you're trying to get sales you're trying to get people to talk to you're you know gurus tell you go into groups go search for people right so when I go into group here I see this Eileen right here I see this uh, Jen Z J Jazel I see this uh, Joyce so these people posted in this particular group so you will want to go and find a group that somebody's in right but that means that you then have to go and read their stuff and comment on their stuff and get them to know you and get them to like you and all that takes time right so one of the things that I've been doing is I actually go to this person's profile I click on their name and then I go to their profile right here main profile and then I actually look at their posts and I will comment and react on their post for them to start to see me in their notifications right just like I have all these notifications I have right here th these are faces that I recognize because they're constantly engaging on my stuff so you want to be that person to these leads to these people right so if I go back to the group here you can see that there's all these people that are here but how do you know which ones are actually active sure Eileen posted today but what if that's the only post she ever did you want to know whether she posts regularly and also you want to see who's commenting regularly right who are the people that are commenting and posting in the groups that you're interested in that's what the tool lets you do it lets you find the people that are actually in the groups that you choose that are actually active that are actually posting that are commenting in the groups and then it lets you go to their profile to engage on their posts all right so that's that's the video number one right now let's do the next video and I'm going to talk about what is this tool used for right so let's just go back here all right so you might be wondering what the tool is used I kind of explained it a little bit the groups thing right but the way that you use the tool is you just let it do its thing and it goes and it finds the people in the groups that you choose you choose the groups and you let it go and find the people that are actually active in those groups right so that's basically all you got to do and you just go in there and you tell it this group you can tell it multiple groups if you want you can tell it um just one group two groups five groups whatever you want and you can let it go and find the people that's kind of what you do and why do you do that because we know that the most important thing is know like trust people need to know know and like and trust you before they'll buy from you right so 
how do you get them to know like trust you is by them seeing you regularly so they even either need to see you in their feed or they need to see you in their notifications if you're engaging on their posts they're going to see you in their notifications that's the secret get them to see you in their notifications that's how you use the tool and then I'll get into more in a second all right so that's video number two right as you can tell I'm not practiced I'm kind of doing this quickly just to kind of get a feel for it so that you can get an idea of how to do this so let's do the uh, third one let's uh, talk about how to install the tool right so for in my case it's a tool that needs to be installed so I need that question answered right how do you install the tool so let's just get right to it right now all right so how do you install the tool the tool is installed very very easily uh all you got to do is you've got to go to uh well the simplest thing is you go here and you click on uh add chrome extension to your browser right so if I click on this it takes me to a chrome extension right here which will be the actual extension and I just click on add to chrome right there and that's just going to add it to my extension it's going to tell me that it wants to read uh, data on this thing which is normal that's what the tool does so you click on add extension right here and now you've got the extension installed so normally it'll show up up here and if it doesn't if I close this now it's not there anymore right so if you want it to show up you just click on this and you click the little pin and now it shows up all the time it'll be right there so that's how you install it so that's simple so the next one is how to create your accounts so I'm actually going to do that maybe the order that I did them is the reverse of them right so I'm going to actually show how to uh, create the account before creating downloading the extension because whoops let's close that because that's kind of what I've got here right the process right here so let's skip that then all right so how do you create an account before you install it you probably should have an account before you create or download it even though you can install it but you'll need the account anyway so you might as well create the account before you download it so if I go here you'll see there's a click here to register your free account on this site activegroupusers.com so if I just click on this it'll ask me to create an account so it the the simplest thing to do is to just click continue with Facebook that will automatically get your profile picture and your profile name and your email and add you to the platform but because I already have an account under my name I'm going to click on use email and password and I'm just going to create a test account let's say agu test uh, 22 I don't know and it's just an email I have ability to create whatever I want in there and I'm just going to create a simple password I'm going to register right here and that's on, going to send me an email it's going to tell me to click a link normally with the Facebook thing you don't have to worry about any of that but I'm just going to go in here and I'm actually going to go into this here it says active group users account can you see that yes you can so it says you or someone else requested the account you just click on this link here and I'm just going to open it in the window and that's going to activate the account successfully activated your account I'm just going to close this window here and I'm going to go back to the other one and if I just reload this page now I'm logged in now I'm logged in so as you can see there's a little person right here and there's the other stuff it's different there's no login and register anymore and if I click on this this is the menu so now you have an account it's created and you're ready to get the tool installed which is step number two here in the next video all right so there you go so now we have which I guess I should reverse these right let's just go back here and I'm actually going to reverse these because this is going to be confusing I want to do number four number number uh, yeah this is four this is three and I'm going to reverse them because otherwise I'm a bit confused when I'm trying to do the editing and there we go okay so now it's going to be how to create let's go back over here so I've got the tool what's it used for how to create your account how to install the account how to activate let's talk about how to activate active group users extension so I'm going to do that too how to activate it and now I have it installed after I've got it installed it's right here um did I have that anywhere in here I had the account or so I forget what the video looked like but um and let's just start the recording 
all right so now that you've got it installed you've got your account created you've got it installed now you've got the little icon up top here again if you don't have the little icon you're gonna have to click the little puzzle piece and click on the icon you'll find it down here and make sure this is blue right here this little thing uh which is not am I seeing that in the screen on the video I'm sharing here um whoops that's not what I want I want to click on this uh yeah you can see it right there right okay so make sure that shows so that it shows up right here and now when I click it it takes me to this which says you, you you need to access you need an access key okay so I can just click on this link here to get the access key and if I just click on here now I can copy it I don't need to show it I just copy it to clipboard and then I go here and I paste it right there and that's all I need to do I need to activate it now it's activated and that's it there's no groups there's no nothing but that's the basics of how to activate your chrome extension once it's activated you don't need to activate it again you click on it and it's going to be always activated right here all right so that's how you activate the extension all right so now um there's another one I had here in the list that was how to access the active group extension right so that is kind of already covered in the other stuff I'm not sure if I should record a separate thing maybe I should because it'll be simpler right um okay so let's just say how to access it um okay let's just talk about how to access the extension I know it's kind of covered in other videos but the simple simplest way to access it is by clicking this button up here and it'll load up like this and you'll be able to see the tool now if you ever don't have that just disable it if you ever don't see the icon up here what you can do is just click on this little uh puzzle piece and then you'll see down here where the little uh pin is not blue you just click it make it blue and now it shows up up top right that's how you access the chrome extension it's as simple as that just clicking this little icon and it loads it up okay now how to add, add groups all right so now the very next thing is how to add groups right I have this other video right here how to add active group users to the browser um how to add active group users? oh no that's not it how to add active group users extension to the browser I guess that's another one that's kind of I don't think I'll need to worry about this it's the same as how to install right maybe I should be just how to add this should be the number four here instead right I don't know I don't install it okay anyways what browsers does active group users support so actually this is an interesting one because if I look at if I do a Google okay so if you're wondering which browsers active group users extension supports as we haven't tested it with other browsers but if you google uh, browsers that support chrome extensions because this is a chrome extension so it'll work on any browsers that support chrome extensions or at least mostly work and I would love to hear your feedback if you're using a different browser but if I look at this it says right here the Kiwi browser supports it the Yandex browser Firefox browser Samsung internet browser uh that's for oh those are Android browsers for browser top best chromium browser alternatives uh where is it can chrome use another web let's just look at this question I know it works in edge on windows the windows edge browser um uh, and that's not the right answer here there was a, I thought there was a list uh extensions chrome web store Android why is it Android browser extension Brow what browsers okay what desk of browsers support support Chrome extension browsers that support Chrome. there you go oh no that's still Android uh, that's weird I thought there was a list an easy list but I guess there isn't I can tell you for one thing that I can go into Chrome into edge I can I can load up edge and now obviously 
there we go I can go into edge and I can go into the, the actually let's just go to active group users active group group users.com right I can go to that to the site and I can actually click on the install to add chrome extension to your browser and it'll take me to the web store you can now add extension from the chrome web store to microsoft edge click on add to chrome that's it that's I mean it should say it doesn't say add to edge right it says add to chrome but this is basically means add to the browser that I'm accessing right now and this is going to say add extension the same exact thing and now I have it here right right there it's right there and it's exactly the same thing is there a, how do I see is it this one yeah that's the same thing so I can make it visible again the same way so now it's installed so you can do the same on Firefox there's a bunch of other browsers that support Chrome extensions you can actually use the extension in any of these browsers uh, all right so I'm just gonna just take it I'm actually oh it's not activated so that's fine but yeah you if the only thing is if you install the brow the the chrome extension on more than one browser and you use those browsers all the time and you enable scheduling and things like that you might run into some weirdnesses if you're using more than one browser at the same time you want you want to have the extension only running in one browser all right just keep that in mind okay so now that's that one there we're at 36 minutes I probably have time to do the rest so how to add groups to script active groups users so this is the most important thing right active group users is meant to scrape groups in Facebook so I'm actually going to uh, do at least that right here how to add groups to scrape with active group users I'm going to talk about that right now in this video here so let's close this go here and go right here so let's start the video now all right so now you want to add groups how do you add groups really 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 simple all you got to do is you go to Facebook you find the groups you want now in this case the group is right here or you right click on this and you say copy link address and then you go to the Chrome extension you click on the little icon again it load up and you can just put the group right there like this and say add all right so now that's going to add that group to your list of groups so you can have multiple groups in this plan the, the free plan lets you put up to three groups right um there's other plans that let you do more but that's basically you can add up to three groups right here and then that's it once you have the groups set up the scheduling you'd set up the scheduling and uh, get it to scrape the data so we'll talk about that in the next video okay so let's do the scheduling one right now the scheduling we're going to talk about how to set up schedule to scrape every day and let's just do that right now all right so now you've added a group so you want to scrape that data so you can either click on the start right here and it'll run right now it'll actually go and navigate to that group and it'll go find the users and everything else but the thing with doing that is that it kind of uses up your computer see if I click on start right now it'll actually start processing it'll load up a new page and it'll go to the group and they'll start to scrape through the group and all the posts and everything else and it'll kind of like take over your computer because if I try to do other things while this is happening it's gonna cause an impact with the with the actual uh, setup right so you want to make sure that you're not doing that while you're not using your computer that's going to be better if you're not right you can see right now this kind of doing loading up some other things right and if you let it go it'll you know keep using your computer and it'll uh, like I said you, you I can click around here do other things but it'll kind of like come back and it'll be in the way and whatever so you don't want to do that I'm going to click on stop right here so what you want to do instead is set up a schedule so you go under options and you just enable the schedule right here it says 23 right I can enable the schedule for 11 p.m or I can do it for say 3 a.m just by changing it like that it'll say the schedule is being saved and then it's going to say that it's saved at three o'clock so actually maybe did it not save it uh let's go and make sure if you want to make sure the schedule is saved right you just close the little bo box and you click it again to go see it again you go back to options and look it didn't change it that's probably because I was trying to change too many things at the same time so I'm just going to do that 
save it again and you should see it save the schedule and then when you go back it'll be three o'clock all right that's how you set the schedule once you've done that it'll run every night at 3 a.m or whatever time you set and we'll do it scraping and we'll have data for you the next day well that's it that's it for today um obviously I want to record other things I'm going to need to record more stuff for this uh, this particular um the actual course I'm putting together but that's the, that's how you do it you then you use a tool to just take the video that you've got and take the pieces out and uh maybe I can do an, an episode on that at some some point in the future if you want to know the tools I use and uh, how to uh, cut out the pieces that you need and how to actually create the course using that method and that's it hopefully you had a you got some value out of this and I will see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.